What's going on YouTube? My name is Andy Gabs, and unfortunately, I'm here to talk to you about something pretty serious. Recently, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, which I'll refer to as FWC for the rest of this video, entered a man's facility and killed 35 of his snakes. They killed 29 retics, five Burmese pythons, and one boa constrictor that was pregnant. The backstory behind this is kind of wild, uh, and I want to get into it with you guys, but I also want to tell you what you can do about this. So in the description in the pinned comment, I'm going to have contact information for Governor DeSantis, which is the governor of Florida. I'll have his contact information. Please call him, email him, and tell him to stop the killing of people's pets. That's what these snakes are. No matter how much you dislike reptiles, when you see the video that I'm gonna show you shortly, I think all of us can agree that what they did was disgusting and inhumane. But to give you a little background on what happened, there was a gentleman named Chris Coffey who had a conditional species permit to keep reticulated pythons and Burmese pythons. Now in 2021, Florida enacted the Prohibited Species Act, which made reticulated pythons, Burmese pythons, green iguanas, a bunch of other species of reptiles illegal in the state of Florida. What should have happened is Mr. Coffey's animals should have been grandfathered in because he had them prior to, and he did rehome 120 reticulated pythons that he had, but he couldn't get rid of all of them. Now, though Mr. Coffey was able to rehome 120 of his retics, he could not rehome all of them. Obviously, that's a large amount of snakes to rehome. So in good faith, he let FWC know that he needed some more time to rehome the rest of his collection. Instead of FWC granting him an extension and saying, okay, you know, we'll give you a little bit more time to rehome all of your snakes, they raided his property, they arrested him, and they charged him with two crimes for each snake that was left at his facility. Now that ended up being a total of 72 criminal charges for these animals, so 36 animals total. And instead of FWC taking the animals or euthanizing the animals then, which, I mean, I'm glad they didn't euthanize them then, they told Mr. Coffey that he had to keep the animals in captivity, could not euthanize or rehome them, or he would be arrested and charged again. As of the time that I'm recording this video, Mr. Coffey is still on probation due to these charges, and his life has essentially been flipped upside down, according to US Arc Florida. Now getting back to what happened yesterday. The rest of Mr. Coffey's snakes that he had to keep and could not rehome, according to FWC, still had to be kept, but they couldn't be kept with him. So in good faith, he sent them to a person named Bill McAdams and they were housed at Bill's facility, which was also in Florida. I'm sorry, I have a correction. I've been saying yesterday, this event actually occurred on Thursday, April 7th. So my apologies, I just had my dates mixed up. Now to Mr. McAdams' surprise, he had a visit from FWC on that Thursday, April 7th. They said that they had gotten reports of an escaped retic in the area and that they wanted to see his facility to verify that it wasn't one of Mr. Coffey's snakes that had escaped. Little did he know that once he gave these FWC officers access to his facility, it would begin a trail of events that's now being known as the Holy Thursday Massacre. As I stated previously, they killed 35 snakes total, one of which was a pregnant boa constrictor. Now, boas are completely legal to own in Florida, and the FWC agents were reminded beforehand not to kill that snake, not only because it was pregnant, but because it's completely legal to own in the state of Florida. I'm gonna show you some video clips of what happened that day, and I, I want to warn you guys, these clips are very graphic, so viewer discretion is advised. They do show the killing and the euthanasia of these animals, uh, but once you see the method in which they used, I, I don't think euthanasia is the appropriate term, especially because they had to do it two or three times to some animal. So I'll play some of those clips for you guys now. On Thursday, April 6, 2023, officers of the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, or FWC, descended upon the facility of Bill McAdam in Palm Beach County, Florida, with the intent of killing pythons that they consider to be prohibited species, which were owned by Chris Coffey. Do you want to practice one of the, you want to do that? Yeah, he can, he don't need to practice, he don't need to practice, he don't need to practice. So this is where they take out the boa constrictor that they were warned not to kill. You can see them kill it there, they're standing around, and then they realize that this is the snake that they just killed, that they were told not to kill. It's a boa, completely legal to own in Florida, and they were warned not to kill it. It was also pregnant and carrying very valuable babies. So just disgusting and proves they had no idea what they were doing here. Now, I'm sure if you like snakes or reptiles in general, that was not easy for you to watch. Um, 
specifically the killing of the boa constrictor and the reaction from those FWC people once they realized what they had done. You could see it in their eyes that they knew that they messed up and there was some remorse or some guilt or something there. It's pretty saddening and disgusting to me that the people that they send to come and euthanize these animals aren't trained veterinarians. They're not even people that can identify a boa constrictor compared to a reticulated python compared to a Burmese python. On multiple occasions, they had to use their impact gun or their nail gun that it's being called two or three times to get the snake to actually pass away. Imagine if it were dogs that we were talking about and there was a specific breed of dog that was no longer legal in Florida or Rhode Island or California. And instead of just allowing someone more time to rehome those animals, they came in with a nail gun, put it in that dog's head, missed the first time, then had to do it two or three more times, getting blood, urine, feces all over someone's living area, or even just the room that the animals were kept in. There would be public outcry, there would be outrage, the whole entire United States would be pissed and would be calling for the resignation and charging of these officers with animal cruelty. Now I'm going to show you another couple clips from what happened today. And during these clips, I'm going to play for you some audio. I actually called Governor DeSantis's office earlier, which I encourage all of you to do. Um, I'm going to play that audio during these clips. So if you would like to hear what they had to say when I called, um, you know, you can't be mad at the guy that answered the phone. He just works for the office. But I just want to play for you what they said. Yeah, I was just curious if your office, or Governor DeSantis's office rather, had a comment about the FWC officers that euthanized 34 snakes, or 35 snakes, illegally rather, today? Or I believe it was actually yesterday? Um, so as of right now, I'm not aware of any comments the Governor has uh, officially made on that matter. Um, we are taking quite a few calls on this matter. Um, if there is an official statement, what I can recommend is reaching or, or visiting flgov.com. That's where all of his official statements are posted. Okay, but this um, is something can, that's being but, looked into by the administration at this moment? Uh, I, I can't really speak on their behalf. I'm not sure what the, how they're handling this uh, situation, but I do know we're taking quite a few calls on this matter, and we're definitely passing all these concerns along to the governor to make him aware of this issue. Uh, to be addressed on that. Okay. All right. Well, uh, can you can you repeat that URL one more time for me? Ah, uh, that'll be flgov dot com. Flgov dot com. Okay, thank you. If you could pass yeah. along the message that I would just really appreciate this being looked into, uh, especially after two senior FWC officials said that if you owned these reptiles, you were grandfathered in that you need to keep them. And then they uh, essentially murdered 35 animals, one of which was not even illegal in the state of Florida, even with the new bill that was passed. Uh, it was a pregnant boa constrictor with probably $100,000 worth of babies inside of it that they mistakenly killed, realized they mistakenly killed while being filmed on video and uh, had nothing but kind of shocked looked on their faces after they were just reminded to not kill that specific snake. So as you heard, they are getting calls about this and the more people that call, the better. So what I encourage you to do, donate to US Ark if you can. That's They have a huge lawsuit going against the state of Florida right now or against FWC that says the ban on these animals is unconstitutional. But also call Governor DeSantis, send him an email. I will provide all the contact information in the link down below. Not only what they did was sick, but in one of the clips, you can even see an FWC agent posing for a cell phone photo and smiling with a hypogranite Burmese python that he had just killed with a nail gun. As if he was proud of it, or as if it was a crowning achievement for him that he held down an innocent, harmless animal and used a nail gun to take its life. These aren't the people that we want protecting our animals and protecting Florida's wildlife. We want people that care about the animals and that are at least compassionate in what they're doing, not posing for selfies with something that they just killed. I'm absolutely disgusted that I felt the need to make this video, but I wanna get more eyes on this. What we need is change, and the organization that's trying to make that change is US Arc. So if you can afford a donation, I would really appreciate it. I know US Arc would appreciate it, and all of the reptile owners in Florida would appreciate it as well. As always, I appreciate you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, stick around. This isn't my normal type of content, but I felt it was important to touch on the subject. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.